Hi, I'm Dana Whitaker, sitting here with Chris Whitaker, and we're talking about The Big Short, a movie that we just saw over winter break with Brad Pitt, Christian Bale, and Steve Carell. Pretty crazy movie, yeah. really depicting what we lived through going through that Las Vegas real estate market. Uh, basically covering all aspects of what happened during that market, everything from you know the real estate itself to the, the mortgage-backed securities and what went on behind the scenes as far as shorting all that. So, yeah. The ninja loans. The ninja loans, yeah. No income, no job, no asset yeah. verification. Just yeah, I mean, it's all true. Time. Yeah, it, it all happened. And, uh, you know, Dana and I, uh, we, we were in the business in Las Vegas during that time. And uh, it was amazing, you know, just a, a, a time of boom. You know, every single year, 20, 30, 50% appreciation year after year. And we'd get more and more clients that were like, we want that. You know, they, they just... We're dying. Obviously, that turned around very quickly. You know, Dana and I uh, were still in the real estate market in 2008, and I mentioned it in my blog uh, how we were there when um, Lehman Brothers collapsed and Bear Stearns. And I actually was uh, the broker of a company called Investment Riches, which was a real estate investment firm in Las Vegas. I remember going into work in, uh, during that time and going up the elevator, and the elevator doors opened, and we had a little podium with the, the secretary there. And, CNBC was on the flat screen right behind her and there was a group of guys from the office just kind of huddled around just watching and I think uh, the market that day was down over 700 points and it was like a week of massive losses that whole week and my job at the time was to try to sell some investment properties around the country not just Las Vegas and uh, I would call and call and call and everybody was not, nobody was buying everybody needed to sell something in order to buy first so it was a very difficult time, and I was talking to guys that were seasoned investors, you know, 20, 30 years in the business and never had losses, and they were just getting creamed. So, you know, it was difficult, very difficult time. And then from there, we went on and helped our friends and, and other colleagues, people that we knew, uh, short sale their homes so we could get out from under them. And now the good news is, is most everybody we know is recovered and is living in a property that they own now and, and starting to gain some appreciation. Yeah. Do you think that something like that could happen again? I don't think something like that could happen again. Not not as dramatic as it was in, during that time. You know, mortgage-backed securities are still around. It's still a, a, a tool for investors to make, you know, reasonable profits every year. Um, but the difference is that back then, there were, like in Las Vegas specifically, there was over 4,000 vacant units that first quarter uh, that just came on the market because there were a lot of investors that really didn't know what they were doing and they got in over their head and the first thing to go is the investment property. You know, they just let it go. So we don't have that kind of inventory and certainly we don't have it here in San Diego um, where there's all these vacant units. So so that, that won't happen again. And then of course, you know, since that time, the, the lenders and the appraisers have been a lot more uh, strict about you know, their guidelines. So they're not going to get themselves in that jam again. Um, and I think just buyers in general or people that own homes are aware of that situation. They don't want to get into it again. And they were much more uh, conscientious about the price they paid when they bought since then. So I think there's a, um, a, a high probability that that kind of situation will happen. The Big Short, a great movie that really we think every American should go out and see. If you want someone that is going to be tough on your side, give Chris a call. I mean, if you can survive that kind of a bloodbath, surviving, and not just surviving, but thriving through one of the toughest markets in history and one of the hardest areas of the country, we're here for you. Give Chris a call, 760-618-1490.